ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. I guess the first one talk about the scene y'all got. I mean, it's full of action, girl kids. Tell me a little about what's going on. All right, as far as that deal, it's supposed to be this little deal we set up. But, um, the dude who we've been scarred from, Diego, but this time we setting up a plot to um, kill him, take the dope and the money. And, and the police is the nigga who's going to fuck with us from out the project. So our plan was to have all of them meet and just kill everybody and take the dope and the money and go on the project with Bob. Okay. And the girl they pulled out the car, he, she's supposed to be one of the... Hot Boy's old lady, right? It's supposed to be Juvie, bitch. Okay, all right. So what's the movie about? I know it's full of guns, full of action. just, you know, a nigga in the project trying to make a few dollars, hit a hustle. Mm -hmm. And this time that we try to hit a hustle on the same nigga we've been scoring from, but all the while he a federal agent. So this time when we try to kill a nigga, uh, instead of us really killing him, the feds come involved and we all go to jail. Okay. Uh, how close is this movie within, how close is it to reality of living in For sure, man. There was niggas going around like that. Every day. Mm -hmm. That's everyday shit, though. Mm -hmm. The last time I saw you, y'all was in the um, cross street from St. Thomas. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I noticed that y'all keeping all of the street, all of it in New Orleans. That's the only way I know how, that's the only way I know how to do it, mm -hmm. me and my brother and the niggas I fuck with and do it well. Mm -hmm. I can't go in no other nigga city and do it. Cause I can't do it that way cause I don't know how to do it like that. I know my cuts. I've been up here all my life. So I know how to bend, dip, and dab and make sure my shit come to my hood, which all hoods are ghetto the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I know how to do it and make it come across, brother. Mm -hmm. Now even though y'all on the record and on the videos, flashing jewelry and shining and everything, within the lyrics it's all ghetto. It's all street. Is that something that keep y'all... Keep y'all with the thugs. Keep the thugs keep out of y'all shit. I mean, every nigga always have a dream of having things. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we feed the having things. We go all the way through the murder shit. So our filing just comes from the realness, I guess. Nigga, nigga just, I guess a nigga just miss having some real niggas in this game. So we pop and niggas out. So who wrote the movie? Oh uh, man, my brother Hell wrote the motherfucker. We really put the guidelines on this other little dude wrote it. Mm -hmm. And we, we really guideline this bitch on directors, you know. Mm -hmm. Everything we do, we direct it mm -hmm. for videos, anything. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all direct the video. How big of a how big of a difference is this from doing you know, the mm -hmm. You can't really compare. It's so different. You can't compare it to no comparison. But time, Jeff, time wise, yeah. you can't even compare the time. There's two times to work a, a, a video. Mm -hmm. Is it what you expected? Or you think oh, you were just going to come in and I ain't like, it to be like that. But I like the challenge. It makes me want to, you know, complete it. You know what I'm saying? Everything I ever did, I was in the underdog. You know? And I love that. You know, it made me work hard. I love the challenge. It keeps me on my game. Just like the rap game. I love that challenge to be successful and be the best at it. So I work harder. I don't think no one in the industry will call it. We always, we finish this, we go to the studio. We go from the studio all night, up early in the morning doing this shit tomorrow. We got a five o'clock flight, we got a concert. You know, I, I just love this shit. We doing this shit so, you know, like you have a nigga love the game. Yeah. We love this shit. How you find time for family? I don't like, really, you know what I'm saying? I might see my children. You know, I'll have them come out here like they came out here today. Mm -hmm. You know, I might put in a little work, but I love this shit so much, man. But I'm going to spend, I'm going to take time out for them. I feel like this here. I want to be when the Lord shut me down. I want to be able to give mine something, something that, you know, mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. And that's something that you didn't have coming up. I mean, I had a daddy, you know, till I was like 15. Mm -hmm. My mama passed, you know. But, you know, in that times, times was harder for us as people. So he didn't really have much to offer a nigga but some clothes. Mm -hmm. You understand? And discipline, you know, try to make a nigga go to school. But in my case, I got a lot to offer my children. I died a day tomorrow. I didn't brought I brought it to their life, so he ain't yeah. got to sell dope unless he want to sell dope. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't really got to risk his life. Mm -hmm. 
Now, Juvie's record is hot as hell all over. I know y'all drop other shit after, but his is selling down to three million now. Is that what y'all do? He over three million. He's okay. Gonna be, he's gonna do, Juke should do five million on his album. I mean, I, we just was, at that time when the motherfucker went platinum, we was excited because that was our mm. first platinum. You understand? But right now, nigga on some other shit, man. Yeah. Nigga know what it take to make this game happen. You know, like the Hot Boys went platinum in four weeks when it took Juvenile. Ten months. Mm -hmm. It took Juvenile about nine months to go platinum. Hot Boy went platinum in four weeks. It took BG about seven months to go platinum. He going on double platinum. Hot Boy going on double platinum. Juvenile going on four million. The Wayne coming out platinum. Yeah. Juvenile New Album probably gonna come out double or triple platinum in December. The movie gonna come out platinum. Hello. Yeah. Who that? Yeah, I'm into that. So did y'all expect the world to grab a hold to this fake I knew, New Orleans I knew once we get them, mm. you did, because we so unique. We ain't, our, our identity and our, the way we carry ourselves is so different in our mm. language. So I knew what, all we had to do was just feed it to the world. Mm -hmm. And now it happened so quick. It's on. Mm -hmm. So tell me the future. You got your movie coming out. Well, you working on your movie. Um, you, know, you got a lot of records. Lil Wayne is next. What's in store for Cash Money next five years or so? Say, hey, bro, be honest with you, I ain't never looked at it that far. Mm -hmm. I looked at right now. I'm really working on recording for 2000. I got a new album on Juve, High Boy, Big Timers, BG. I got a movie soundtrack. So really, I'm, my plan is I want to sell like 30 million records next year. Okay, that's my goal. So when's that big time was dropping? My favorite is a big time. We dropping in February, dog. Okay. So mm -hmm. we really, me and Fresh been riding. We been riding. So when our shit comes, it's gonna be tight. Yeah. Everything we do, you never. It ain't like we're the type of got just platinum. On. Two million for us is bad. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nigga on some three, five, and better type shit. Mm -hmm. You know. So we got a lot looking forward, man. Um, we just can't be faded with this shit. I thought, I thought the hot boys were so real when they got on the Source Awards saying that, sure. man, we ain't used to this shit, man. You know, we didn't, we didn't come from this, you know. Um, I just want to tell you how real I thought it was. I appreciate you talking to you. Nice to meet you again, too. For sure, my man. All right. All right. Any time, it don't really matter. But that's what we do for a living. We love it. All right. All right. I just need you to get